back to my channel this is another episode of moody monday my name is tia if it's your first time on this channel go ahead and subscribe right now um if you guys have already been on this channel and have watched videos and you still didn't subscribe you're supposed to been do that but go ahead and subscribe anyways right now and let's get into this topic okay so today i want to talk about jada chives or jada waiter or whatever y'all decide to call her a couple of weeks ago or maybe a couple of days ago i'm not really too good on the timing um jada posted a post on instagram her instagram story and it said all these girls out all these women out here getting married and here i am being a baby mama so ghetto and she basically agreed with the post said and she's like it's something that she has to face every day right and a lot of people you know they looked at it positive which it was positive you know what i'm saying um the ability to face your regrets is very positive because it takes a lot of people a long time so you see that her being single is doing some type of work um and stuff like that but you know i have a different viewpoint of it i have a view another viewpoint of thinking about this and this is also related to myself i saw in the whole baby and jada little baby and jada relationship and why it took her so long to leave him is she was trying to prove something to him and as well as to herself um she never she always kept it real with us she always told us she don't want to be a baby mama you know just be a baby mama she want to be at least a girlfriend you understand me and maybe more so that's always something she wanted to keep herself in and i feel like that was always something she wanted to prove to little baby and i want it's always something she wanted to prove to herself and a lot of people may look at this video and say, you know, girl, she got money. She's cute. She's, you know, every dude want to be with her. Most girls want to be like her. So she has nothing to prove to him or to herself. She's proved it all. But the thing is, y'all, that's not how women work. <laughs> that's not how realistic women really work. You understand? We all have our issues and our inner workings and we all have kinks that we need to work out. You understand me? I believe, this is what I believe, and if you choose not to believe it, that's perfectly fine. I believe that what took her so long is she was trying to prove to little baby that she's special. She's special out of all the girls that he messed with. She's the most special thing. She is to the point where, you know, he shouldn't hurt her. He shouldn't cheat on her because he literally has everything that he needs right there. Which is correct. It's right. You understand me? But she wanted him to see that. So let me explain to you guys. It is hard to leave a toxic relationship. We all know that. You understand me? I hope we're all nodding our heads right now because we all know that. Okay? But it's even harder to leave a toxic relationship when you're trying to prove to your significant other that there that you're the best thing for him it's even harder for you to leave a relationship when you're trying to get him to see that you're this amazing person that he should not let go and that he should clean up his act for it's even harder to leave a relationship when you're trying to prove to yourself that you're bad the best thing for him you understand me and you're trying to prove to him that he will come around once he sees that you understand I, I i hold out a little while longer while we were asking jada mentally like girl why are you still with this man he cheated on you multiple times it's you know it was even that one time he's you know it was alleged that he cheated on her on her with a porn star why are you still with this man that's why because she wanted to prove to him that she understood him she hoped for the best for him and that he she wouldn't give up on him but the thing that you lose out on in re, in, when you're in a relationship and you're trying to prove to your significant, uh, significant other your worth is as you're sitting here trying to prove to this man your worth, you're also dwindling down your worth at the same time. As you're trying to prove to yourself your worth through this man, you're also losing yourself at the same time you're losing your worth you understand me you're losing sight of your worth this was relatable to me and it may not be relatable to you but if you sit back and you maybe think for a little while on why you stayed with your ex so long and 
how you were on your phone with your girlfriends and you'd be like, but girl, I'm so good for him. Like, I'm there for him. I got his heart and I got his bag. And if he ever needed something, I'll be there for him. I'll give him my last dollar. I don't understand why he cheats on me. I don't know. I don't understand why he hurts me. I don't understand why he lies to me. You know, I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to show him that I'm there for him. I'm trying to prove to him that he doesn't need anybody else. That is what I need. This related to me because of some this. When I was younger, in high school, middle school, I didn't really have a self-esteem. You understand me? I didn't really have self-worth. I didn't really see myself as prizable or worth it. Um, and it wasn't because of where I came from, what I looked like, or anything like that. It was just simply, you know, I wasn't given all the things that I needed as a young woman to be equipped in the male department. You know, I wasn't given a lot of attention, male attention, like from my dad, cause he just didn't operate that way. So when I would go out and I would go to school and there would be boys telling me I'm pretty and all this stuff, I would base my worth off of them. So I started to create this habit of basing my worth off of the guys that I dated and how they saw me and how they treated me and stuff like that. So, um, there was this one guy, he was like a player. He had girls on top of girls on top of girls. You understand me? And I always worked so hard. You know, I always, you know, wanted him to see me as, you know, right for him, as a good girl, as him being lucky, as him, um... Like, I, I worked so hard, <laughs> y'all. I made so many excuses. I worked so hard um, just to, for this man to see me. You know what I'm saying? Just for this man to, this boy, sorry, to pay attention to me. Um, to choose me each and every time to be faithful to me. To just do, just, I, I worked hard. I, I gave him money. I, I gave him time. I... I broke rules, I, whatever I could to give to him to prove it, that's what I did, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, he still didn't see it, and he never really fully grasped what an amazing person I am, you know what I'm saying? Um, but over time... He just, he started to be my mirror, what I looked, you know, what I saw in the mirror. He just started to be the determination of my worth and how I felt about myself because it depended if he saw that, you know, if he saw that I was worth it to him, if he saw that I was worth being faithful to. And then after a while, I just began to take his crap more and more and more. And then after a while, I started to lose sense of my worth as a person. You know what I'm saying? And it was really hard for me to lose that relationship or leave that relationship because I was so busy on trying to get him to see me and to see my worth and to see how, you know, good of a person that I really was. You know, underneath all the things that I would do for him, I was still a good person. So I could relate to that because... You be so caught up in trying to get a man to see you and get a man to be crazy over you and love you and cherish you and stuff like that. Especially when you don't have a, uh, a self-esteem of your own. You understand? That you start to depend on that. You understand? And you start to really focus on that a lot. I could understand what Jada went through in her relationship. I could understand how hard it was to leave that toxic relationship because that's exactly what I had to go through. Maybe not the same step by step, but at the end of the day, we both had tried to prove to a man that we were worth it. We had both had to try to prove to a man that every, he had everything he needed right in us. And that man never saw that. 
and you know it really took a long time for us to break free of that and I'm not just relating that to me or relating that to just Jada it's to all of us girls because there's a moment in our lives it may not be you but it may be your cousin it may not be you but it may be your auntie it may not be you but it may be your friend down the street that where we we tried so hard and we worked so hard on getting a guy to see our worth and see how good we were for them and we would go out of the way to make sure that we would do big things for them and, and we would lie for them to our parents and we would do all these things and we would try to save their image whenever we could just to get them to see how wonderful and how truly amazing that we are. I think that is another issue that we have in, in relationships where us females we feel like we have to really truly you know prove ourselves to these guys but here's the thing you should never have to prove yourself to anybody but God because at the end of the day you know he's the one that gives you life each and every day you understand these men don't do jack squat for you compared to what the Lord do for you you understand he died for your sins you understand so that you will live again so that at the at the end, ending of the beginning of the day no matter what you did he forgives you off the top off the rip no matter what you did you understand no matter what you said these men can't even forgive you if you miss a step and say the wrong thing you understand so it's a lot of things that you know we stretch our neck out for these men we we, we overwork ourselves for these men that they don't even give us the same type of love that God would even give. You understand? They don't give us the same type of respect that we truly deserve. But we sit here and we break our necks and we go so hard for these men as young girls, as young women, and even as older women that we start to lose sight in ourselves. But I want for starting today, if you're in a relationship like this and you don't see it getting any better, you just see it feel like it was one-sided which I feel like me and Jada both went through because our relationships were both one-sided and let's be honest it was one-sided with the little baby and you're in this relationship right now and you're not happy I ask you to relieve this relationship because you deserve so much more um we all do and I feel like again like I'm saying this again for like the 1500th time we don't give ourselves enough credit we don't we cheat ourselves out of a lot of things because we're afraid that these boys will leave us but at the same time y'all we can't be afraid that they will leave us because if they leave us they lose out on a good thing and we have to know that and don't have to prove that to them now if they want to take the time to open their own eyes and see what they have in front of them then that's what they're going to have to do but until then we're not proving anything else to them